Okay, so while I was editing this video, I realized how absolutely obnoxious it would have been if I just voiced it over and presented it to you like, oh, no big deal, it went wrong, but it's still good. Um, by no means is this like a proper table, and by no means is this a professional table whatsoever. I thought it would be interesting to kind of sit with you guys on today's video and pop in and tell you the truth about each section of this DIY because it was so frustrating for me, and I also just didn't have the patience to build it correctly which is not the way to go about it this almost was a wash and I think because it's not like an actual bench and we're not utilizing it it's more of a decor piece it was okay how I executed it but nonetheless I wanted to be honest with you guys because I felt like I'd be such a phony if I was just like here's a video and I didn't explain how absolutely annoyed I was yesterday with this DIY my intention was to build like a high skinny table and that didn't even work out because all the wood that I used was super chunky but we're just gonna start it off with like the inspiration of it basically I just found this Pinterest where there was like a little meditation nook and I wanted to create a relaxing moment when you first walked into our bathroom I had all of this wood on hand believe it or not I didn't have to pay anything for this that was another reason why I'm like I'm just gonna keep up with this build even though it might not be right I started out with four legs that were made out of four by fours the height of these legs really depend on the height of the table that you want so if you want a longer table make those legs longer but you want all four pieces the exact same height Height. Moving on to the skinnier pieces, those in my brain were going to be the frame that we're going to connect to the base of those legs, and then you can connect that to the bottom of the bench or table, and then it would be like a proper piece of furniture. Um, so that was my thought process there. When I laid this guy out, I realized my wood was warped, but I just powered through because I didn't have another piece of wood that would fit that, and once again, I'm not really using the piece, I am just decorating with it. Once it was all laid out and I stepped back, I thought I could do like pocket hole screws for the frame like I've done before on my channel and then basically Craig jig that to the base of the bench and it will be super secure. When I went in with my mini Craig, I quickly realized not only did I screw the holes in the wrong place, but I didn't have the proper size screws and I had no desire to go to the hardware store to get the proper length screws. So if any of you have been there, you kind of just think, well what do I have? How can I execute this without having to leave the comfort of my home? That just seemed like a lot of work, so I decided to just wood glue all the pieces together, how they were laid out, and then screw it together. That was my Rachel Metz is so impatient DIY method, which happens a lot and I don't really share with you guys because when I do projects like that, I'm really embarrassed because it just, you can tell I had a temper through the whole thing. Another fun fact about this project is I didn't account for, let's just call it shrinkage. <laughs> When you sand your wood down, it obviously gets smaller. So if I cut the wood when it wasn't sanded and I sand it down, it's clearly gonna move in a little bit. So there was a bunch of gaps in between my wood, which I don't think I actually filmed because when I started noticing that, I was like, oh my God, I don't even think I'm gonna put this out, but I'll keep filming anyways. It was like one of those DIYs. Somehow I made it work. I just basically screwed the pieces in where they needed to be. And then with the legs, because I somehow couldn't think of any other way to attach them besides drilling through the top of the bench into them with a screw. So that was my I, I think I was having a heat stroke because there's so many other ways to do that. I had so many different options. So moving along, wood filler is my best friend because I'm so new to woodworking that I just think all of my problems can be solved with wood filler, which is not the case, but I made it work here anyways. I filled up all the holes and the dings. I sanded down all of the wood filler and then baba, -ba, we have a table and it's like baba, -ba, what? kind of noise. It somehow morphed into a decent table. It isn't the prettiest thing. It's not the most well finished thing, but uh, what does your girl do? I just add some dark stain to it because why not? Why not add the darkest color? That way when you realize you don't like it, you can't change the color <laughs> besides painting it. Once I put the table in place, I thought decor could save it and I really took my time to source some pieces that I knew are prettier than the furniture to kind of distract you. But no Nobody's really going in there. It's Paul and I's bathroom and it is a place where I like experiment with a lot of DIYs. Even though the DIY didn't go as 
even though the DIY didn't go as planned, I am still able to relax because cute cheesy segue, but it's the truth. I'm able to relax because when I turn around into my bathroom, I have all these Chasing Unicorn products and I am so pumped to be able to say that I am doing a giveaway for this incredible gift package with my girls Sam and Joe over at Chasing Unicorns. They're launching some really awesome stuff in the next couple of weeks, so I want to show some love to their YouTube channel. In order to enter this giveaway, you need to be subscribed to Chasing Unicorns. I'll link them here and I will link them in the description down below. Comment on their latest video, or actually comment on whatever video you like. Hashtag living to DIY. That way it will enter you into winning this really awesome care package. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little, ow, rude. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a little bit different, but I will catch you Wednesday for a very exciting laundry room makeover. Bye guys.